The headquarters of the Artifact Recovery Project are located inside of a mountain about a mile from Paradise Path, Oregon. The sterile white walls and spotless glass make the place feel somewhere between a laboratory and a psych ward. With hundreds of employees buzzing around, it's a wonder how they've been able to keep their base of operations hidden. In fact, no one in Paradise Path really knows what the ARP does, despite their apparently straightforward name. All anyone knows is that sometime in the late 80s, they rolled up, bought some land, and started excavating. Everyone just assumed it was some harmless archaeological foundation, but they couldn't be more wrong. For the first time, the citizens of the sleepy small town are going to see exactly what their mysterious neighbors have been up to. Inside that mountain, deep in the offices of the ARP, there's an explosion. A garbage bag filled with rocks and fungi triggers a strange chemical reaction, and suddenly the entire place is filled with an ominous green mist. These pristine walls and glass are suddenly covered with alien fauna. The office drones buzzing around shredding documents are choking on clouds of spores. The quiet has been pierced by a blaring alarm and a pre-recorded message. Code 6, evacuation necessary. Leave the premises immediately. I'm your keeper, Armando Torres, and welcome to another episode of our tabletop role-playing show, Must Be Dice. Paradise Path. Paradise, Paradise Path. Path. Paradise, Paradise Path. Path. Paradise Path. Paradise Path. Paradise, Paradise. Path. Paradise. Two tickets to paradise. Does any Path. money exist in this world? Yeah. Okay, good. Eddie money? Eddie money. Eddie oh, money. Okay. Eddie money. He doesn't know Eddie money. Eddie Money is one of those creatures that transcends storytelling and exists in all universes. He's a trans-dimensional yeah. being. Ex yeah. Exactly. Like oh. Exactly. An elder's whore. <laughs> Eddie Money. But he's more of like the turtle. Oh. oh yeah. He's yeah. like a benevolent force. Yeah. Didn't like, the turtle die? Like a great attitude. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think the turtle's been dead for a while. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, right. Choked on its own vomit. Maybe. Oh, right. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. Spoilers for uh, the book <laughs> It. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not the movies, just the book. I don't think that's covered in the movies. Not, not, they, not even close. I think close. they skipped the turtle. Nah. One miniseries, two movies, no turtle. <laughs> Last time we played this game, Virgil, Dex, Sloan and Spencer had found their way into the ARP's headquarters where they collected what they were looking for, the glowing red rocks and the strange fungi, put them all into a, a garbage bag, and then they exploded like some kind of a uh, homemade bomb. The entire building is filling up with this ominous green smoke. Alarms are blaring, people are running and trying to get the fuck out of Dodge. You see the smoke is sort of billowing from one center point in the room that you all were kind of thrown away from. And there seems to just be this weird, almost like black hole effect that starts just sucking in things and growing and becoming bigger as smoke just sort of billows out of it. <sighs> Sounds like a bad situation that needs to be read. Well, for like somebody sharper than I. <laughs> But you're the, you're the bad guy. You know bad situations better than any of us, Virgil. Oh, I know how to kick some ass in bad situations. I don't know how to assess them, but I'll try it anyways. He doesn't know how. I can also assess this situation if we need okay. somebody smarter. Was that a, a, a failure? It was, uh, it's a three. Go ahead and mark some experience, buddy. Yeah. I'm gonna do the same thing. <laughs> what was it? Read a bad situation. Yeah, but first I have to do this. Yes. So, Virgil, you try to look around to get an assessment of what's going on, and you see a giant, like, black hole-looking thing that's just sort of spinning the room around, getting things to fly all over the place. You see mist coming out. You don't see anything that could be of particular help to you, and as you're looking, uh, a stapler smacks you in the face, and you fall down. Ow. <laughs> what a bad boy. What the fuck? <laughs> A That's plus a sharp two. two. That is a ten. So on a ten plus, you hold three. You can ask three Ooh, of those questions. Baby, number one, what is my best way out? Uh, your best way out is to follow the employees. Uh, if you look, there are some lights, uh, almost like you know when you're in a plane and they emergency have the lights. lights. Yeah, there are some emergency lights that are lining the floor and outside of the hallways that have arrows uh, pointing in a direction that you assume will lead out. What is the best way to protect the victims? This one's complicated. Probably being us, the victims. The victims probably being you, I would assume would be to get out of yeah. the situation. Okay, and are there any dangers we haven't noticed? Yeah, 
You, Spencer, are looking around, and I just yeah. want to. Yeah, it's it's a it's a visual gag. Yeah, for that you the all audio do. listeners, Patrick's doing his like shocked face again. Uh, <laughs> squinting. <laughs> now he's doing his squinting, squinting face. His looking. like teeth bared face. Taking taking it all uh, in. Just gonna run through all my greatest hits now. Do the <laughs> the audio, the voice thing next. We'd like to take this moment to remind you that full video episodes are available on the Rooster Teeth site. If you're watching this on Rooster Teeth, we apologize for this needless interruption. Spencer, you're looking uh, inside of that sort of black hole looking thing and you see that it appears to be something growing inside of it. It looks like maybe a figure, uh, that looks like something's might... growing inside of it. I yell to them. And I don't see all, anything. Now you all notice it, except for Virgil, who uh, still is a little dazed from being hit in the face by a flying stapler. What do you mean something's growing inside of it? Look, something's growing inside of it. Oh my God, he's right. <laughs> do you see that, Dex? Don't worry. Is it the guy? Which guy? Is it a guy? The guy that was mad at us. Is it that guy? It appears to be a figure. It's that guy. <laughs> Which guy? <laughs> it appears to be a figure. Don't worry, I'll check it out, Dex says, before they're going, nah, I'm just kidding. We should get out of here, probably. <laughs> All right. uh, Spence, you've made and researched so many homemade bombs. What do we do? <laughs> uh, do I have, yeah, do I have any, like, do I have, like, a portable uh, anarchist cookbook on me or something that... <laughs> Up in the here. Reader, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You have annotated. A one of your burner phones has a complete PDF I version I of, yeah. of uh, the Anarchist Cookbook. Okay. Well, I, I, I would like to kind of guide everyone to the exit um, sure. that I'm aware of now, I guess, right? Because I did the thing. Yeah. Hey, this way. We got to follow the lights, the emergency lights. The four of you run out of the room into the hallway and start following the lights and see that uh, a lot of people are following the lights, but every so often you see somebody running the other way. The people running the opposite way uh, are very determined. They're all very big, strong looking people uh, wearing suits and stand out from basically anybody else here who's just wearing business casual with a lab coat or the same blue janitor outfits that you are. Do they look like when an NFL player wears a suit? <laughs> uh, they do actually, it but like a, like a modern day NFL player where the suits are like cut nicely. They're cut nicely, but they're still too big to be A little suit, too big, sort of. yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. an upside down trapezoid. Yeah, Except, yeah, 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 actually, yeah. one of them runs by and he looks like a 90s NBA player in a suit. Oh, you know, they're just, it's yeah. so Long big. and boxy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Real boxy. Yeah, and he runs past and he looks at all of you and he goes, hello. Just runs past. Wait, wh where are they going? Can I try to stop one of them? Yeah, if you want slow. to. Come on, we don't have time for this. No, but don't you see? What, they're running toward the danger. Why? I got this, Sloan. Uh, what do I have to roll for that? Uh, that's probably going to be act under pressure. <laughs> Fuck. What is that? Four. A four? Yeah. So one of these individuals is running down the hallway again, doing kind of like the Terminator 2 sprint. Yeah. yeah. Hands out like that. Hands yeah. out, face completely still. And they seem to be one of the biggest dudes that you've seen run past. And oh. you try to stop him. How do you do this? Oh, cool. um, <laughs> I just get in front of him. Hands out like this. He, on, man. almost without any effort, just puts his hand on your head and shoves you to the other side of the wall. You did what you do when you see a coyote. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I try to make myself bigger than Get him. big, get yeah. loud. And like a giant coyote, you slam against the, uh, a wall. Ow! <laughs> uh, you don't take any damage, but you are dazed. Not again. I, I go to try to help Virgil, but my glasses fall. <laughs> in all the commotion. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> My glasses! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I dropped my glasses! Uh, I, I go to pick them up? Uh, I guess I Is that a roll? Pressure, I okay. guess. It didn't have to be. <gasps> oh, oh, I think oh, we got it! What happens to my glasses? I think we got it! Two ones. There's <laughs> two ones. Act under pressure. Act under pressure. Plus cool. Plus cool. Three! What happens to them? One of the giant suit men comes running through and oh. steps on your glasses, absolutely destroying them. But 
keeping you hot forever. Spencer, you've always hated my glasses. You've always said they look horrible. I can't believe you would break them. I was nagging you. <laughs> <laughs> Also, that wasn't my fault. That guy stepped on him. I just went to help pick them up. I didn't break them. Uh, some friend you are. <laughs> I, I was trying to help. Yeah, good going, Spencer. You've essentially stepped out of the room that you were just in, and when you look inside, the chaos is becoming more and more as things start swirling around even faster and more dangerously. You also see that uh, inside of the black whole thing in the middle of it, there the figure is growing larger. I, I really don't think that we should just stand around here. I don't know where everyone else is going, but I think it's not safe here. But, we should probably go. I, I don't know, I mean, those people are running this way, but who is this person in this hole? Should we help them? Or should we shoot them? The, that's the guy that keeps threatening us. How do you know Does that? no one else know what I'm talking about? I don't know what you're Didn't talking you about. Didn't you say it was yeah. that looked like that guy? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I guess we should. That guy doesn't need our help. That guy is here to to kill everyone. Or All something. I'm saying is, if we want to get to the bottom of this, maybe we should be following the people here in suits. They're heading towards some undisclosed location. Well, they're, wherever they're going, it's probably safe. Also, I I can take care of this, Spencer. Virgil would like to fire his gun at the figure. Okay. Don't kick some ass. Trips. Oh! Wow. <laughs> That's a 12. Wow. That is a 12. Okay, on a uh, 12, you get to pick an advanced effect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if any of these will apply in this particular situation, but I would like to suffer no harm. That's probably shot. a good choice. So okay. what, what kind of weapon do you have again? It's a revolver. A revolver. Yeah. So Virgil lifts uh, his hand up, cocks back the hammer, aims it directly at this man in this black hole embryo looking case. Uh, and what does he say before he fires? He says, uh... Ice to meet you? No, oh, sorry. <laughs> you already said sorry, that. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh. He says, uh, oh, get back in your hole, motherfucker. Oh. Bang! The gun fires and the bullet uh, rips towards it and then gets sucked into it and disappears completely. Oh, I'll see you in hole would have been good. Oh, that would be Spencer, right? should... I say, Spencer says. You to told me that. You're not exactly shot. sure. It's it's almost like you, you, you're you not really hearing anything, but it's almost like you can hear the figure inside the embryo laughing. Almost. That's a joke. Just goes, <laughs> see you in, see you in. <laughs> Fuck. I don't think that did anything. <laughs> Look, we are in a meltdown, meltdown situation. Spencer, you love the first season of HBO's Chernobyl. And, but <laughs> the you, only season. But you know that the real heart of the issue is, is where these guys are running. I think we need to follow them. Look, I'm always down to figure out to get to the bottom of something, as you know. So I'm, I'm willing to follow these people in suits. Okay. I want to find out what's really going on here. I can get right. isn't going to tell us. Let's do it. So you're going to go the other direction, the direction opposite. We're going to uh, follow the NBA players. Only if Dex goes with me. Yeah, sure. OK. That sounds like a good idea. Virgin All right. Go. The four of you start running down. Before um, we run, uh, Dex takes the remnants of uh, Sloan's glasses and puts them in his pocket. OK. Does anyone, do you do it in a sneaky way? Does anyone see you? Well, everyone else is running. He just kind of stops and goes back and grabs gotcha. it. Gotcha. So we can corner. <laughs> Again. Again, yeah. Oh yeah, Sloan's a clone. I guess we should have mentioned that at the beginning of the episode too. Oh yeah. Yeah. So the four of you start sprinting down the hallway the incorrect way, at least according to the emergency lights on the bottom of the floor. Uh, as you rush down, you sort of catch up with some of the uh, men in suits. Um, and you hear commotion coming down from the end of the hall, although the that like section of the hallway is completely shrouded in mist. You hear shouting, uh, and then you see flashes of light and loud bangs as what you, you hear what you assume to be gunshots. Oh my God! Good thing we have all these guns with us. Uh, I'm I'm no shot without my glasses. Uh, Dex pulls out his nunchucks. All right. Sounds like we're ready for a fight. Spencer, have you killed a man before? I. Uh, no, I've not killed a man. Wait, have I? No, I think I have, actually. I think, what? I think we all killed people, but they were mushroom men. 
so it doesn't really count. Mm. It kind of separates it. Definitely nice killed a bear. Yeah, I killed a bear. You've Felt gotten people killed. Bad. I have, yeah, I've gotten people killed, but I personally, no. Yeah, so I have no guilt on Neither my conscience. Neither have I. I can't have murder on my transcript. Oh yeah, you held your job hunting right. My job yeah. hunting and, and school next year. Don't Just you think me. saving the world is gonna look better on your transcript than, or this town, I'm not sure what the stakes are. Don't you think a friend doesn't break another friend's glasses that they need to see. I didn't, the big guy broke your glasses. I was trying to help. Yeah, not cool, Spencer. <sighs> Guess Fuck I'm just, all you. <laughs> I'm just upset because I found out I'm a clone. Dex, <laughs> uh, I want you to act under pressure. Uh, that is a roll plus cool. Uh, six plus one is seven. Everyone is kind of arguing um, about what to do. The end of the hallway is shrouded in mist. Dex, you see something moving, and before you can figure out what it is, woof, it comes flying out. It's the giant man who stepped on Sloane's glasses, and he flies at the four of you. Uh, luckily, because you see it, you're able to move them out of the way, but you get knocked over, and you are also dazed. Dex! Oh my god. A big guy! <laughs> Which direction was that guy headed in? He seems like he's just going back and forth. Was he running or was he getting like... He got thrown tossed? out by yeah, something. Okay. Oh, okay, so he wasn't jumping at us. No. He was, his body came at us. Yeah. Ooh. The lifeless body of a giant guard uh, is lying on top of death. Holy Something, shit. Something's happening in, in there. Uh, Spencer, go look. Can someone uh, help me get this guy off <laughs> Yeah. I want to help, I'll help get the yeah, giant I'll body help, off. I'll help yeah. too. I also help. With three of you and Dex pushing it underneath, it's pretty easy to move his body. Uh, so you move him off and you're able to get up. Can we investi uh, investigate the body? See if like there's any like, markings on it or anything? Sure. Uh, investigate a mystery? Yep. Mm, I said I got four. Yeah, it's four. No. Like Why do you keep you. doing things? I have two charts. <laughs> this is what Virgil wants to do. He's not very good at it. Um, well. I'll use some luck. Okay, yeah. mark off one point of luck and... It is pretty great how Virgil is a, wants to be a detective, but he is negative one sharp. Yeah. He's very stupid. Yeah. Uh, oh. yeah. Got big aspirations. Big heart. It actually won't stop him from being a, a police officer. Nope. <laughs> not at all. It doesn't stop <laughs> anybody. No. It actually it might be a benefit. Okay, I want to discern what manner of of uh, enemy that killed our guard, our large guard. So you see uh, that this guard has a handgun. It's a Glock standard issue for most uh, law enforcement agencies. Right, we'll take that. Uh, go ahead. You, <laughs> you add another Glock to your mighty collection of weapons. Bags. But you don't see any bullet holes, stab wounds, or marks of any kind on this guy. It's almost like he just is dead now. I don't see any discernible marks on this guy. It's like he just suddenly died. From the shrouded part of the hallway, uh, two of those suited men who were running down the hallway completely stone-faced, expressionless, you see them having a look of terror that you have never really seen on a person before as they run in the opposite direction, uh, tripping over you and the dead body for just a second before looking at you and going, get the fuck out of here! Spencer, go look at what they're running from. Go look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Remember, a coward dies a thousand deaths, a hero but one. <laughs> You're right! <laughs> You We gotta don't... get out of here! Spencer, take this Glock! Spencer, you go look and then catch up with us. We're gonna run. <laughs> <laughs> like father, like son, eh? Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on, guys. Um, Sloane is yelling and sort of running around the, the, the three of you, uh, uh, just telling you conflicting stuff. But you realize that the sounds of shouting, the sounds of gunshots, the sounds of fighting, everything has kind of stopped. Sloan, well, as Sloan's shouting, Dex grabs her and then says, what are you doing? And then it's obvious that she's shouting at a scare, scarecrow that was just propped up in the hallway that she thought was spent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not a scarecrow, but it is a cardboard cutout of like a, wor a worker safety yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Dex, my, my glasses. Don't, eyes don't work so good anymore. It's okay. Is that or guy that. still there? The the guard that tripped over us? Uh, no, he tripped okay. for just a second okay, before kind well. of catching himself and running away. Okay. It seems like we have the, either the option to really figure out what's going on and head into it, though we saw what happened to someone who did that. They got knocked back pretty hard and landed on me. 
or we can just run for it. Spencer will let us know. I take a deep breath and step into the mist. <laughs> <laughs> Spencer steps into the mist, and as he walks forward, he's able to see only about a couple feet ahead of him. Behind you kind of disappears almost immediately. You can't really see anything, but as you walk forward, you see body after body after body of dead men wearing suits. Mm -hmm. uh, and the further you go, the more you start to see the shape of three silhouettes. They don't appear to be big, tall, or, or anything like that, just average silhouettes. Hello! <laughs> the, three of, the three of them look at you and you feel a stinging pain in your head for one second as you see uh, basically the events of the last couple of weeks play out uh, almost as if somebody is holding down fast forward on a tape. Mm -hmm. It just winds, it's very disorienting. Uh, and then the middle figure lifts up their hand towards you and you shoot backwards flying into the chest of Dex over under. Well, Dex, as he comes flying out, Dex goes, here he comes, and then gets ready, <laughs> gets ready to catch. Uh, it doesn't hurt you at all, and it is almost as if the first one prepped you for what that was gonna feel like. Dex, that was so brave the way you just caught Spencer like that. Well, I just figured he would have probably hit his head if he had gone flying and landed on the ground. Also, like he weighs like brave. nothing. I feel like it was more brave that I ran into, in there and got thrown back, but that's okay. Spencer, did you see anything? What was uh, in there? Three guys. Three guys? Three guys, they're, I don't know what's going, they, they flashed my head and I suddenly replayed the events of the last two weeks? Three weeks, I three think. Three weeks. I, think, I, I mean, I don't know, but it feels like it might have been three weeks. I'm not sure how saw. long it's been, but they replayed everything since the beginning of this whole mess in my head and then he just pointed at me and I came flying back. <gasps> Which I would have hit some, I would have hit something else if not. What happened when you came flying back? Did you? I hit some. I caught? hit someone, but it would have been. Are you hurt? Someone would have caught me either way. No, I'm fine. He barely felt like anything. That's it was like not, catching no, a pillow. Well, that's that's because of the strength of those th three, not because of my physical. The four of you are standing uh, still in the hallway, and you see approaching from the mist uh, three silhouettes that are coming closer. Those guys. Let's run. I think we should run. Run. Unless Virgil. Let's run. I'm down to run. Are you still holding Spencer? Spencer, your shin splints. <laughs> They're fine. <laughs> I'm gonna be okay. Spencer, are you sure you can run in those orthopedics? <laughs> That's why I have them, so I can run. Do you need Dex to carry you? No, I don't need anyone to carry me. I can run. I can carry you, Spencer. I don't need to be carried. Virgil, let's get him. And I won't right. be carried. Virgil, Virgil, and, and, <laughs> Virgil and Dex go to grab. Spencer, are you going to let this happen? I wiggle like a worm. <laughs> then I need the two of you to roll <laughs> kick you. some ass. Oh, hell yeah. Dex, I'm going to need you to roll Who kick some roll? ass. Virgil, I'm going to need you to roll help out. Okay. Mm, yeah, that's 12. <laughs> I, got a, I got a... And I've, I've started running. Four. I'm, okay. I'm heading the other direction. Yeah. Sloan is uh, running the two of you, Dex and Virgil, you pick up <laughs> Spencer, uh, almost like in a stretcher position, and just start running out. I <laughs> Wee! <laughs> <Squeal. laughs> Wee! 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 Keep trying to wiggle free. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, as you three, well, as you two and your captive are running out, uh, Sloan, who has ran ahead, turns around to see where the commotion is coming from, and you start to see those three silhouettes coming out of the <laughs> fog um, and you can't really see them because you can't see without your glasses, but there's something familiar about the way that they look. Don't worry, he does that sometimes. Just ignore it. Spencer, <laughs> stop squealing. Hang on, hang on, I think I... Do I know you? They so don't say anything, uh, but you feel, it's almost like a bad thought trying to worm its way into your brain. But that's it, nothing happens. Guys, no matter how much he's squealing, you need to run faster. I have a bad feeling. And then I turn and I, I just try to run even faster. All right. 
and we're just trying to keep up as as he's scrambling. Which one of you is uh, is in the front, kind of running backwards? It. I've I've got his arms. Okay. And I'm running. So down you're all right. facing forward, yeah, running yeah. away. Okay. Are they still coming? Like when I look back, are they still? They're just standing there. Just standing they there. you can't really get a read on them because you're too far away to see see them up close, and you can't really see. I stop. Okay. And then I. I think about how brave Dex was when he caught Spencer. That's not what was brave. And I realize that, you know, my life has been shrouded in mystery and I've never really had a, a home or a place and I'm, I need to stop running from my past. So then I turn and I start walking back to get a better look at these three. You stop in the middle of the hallway and start walking back. Um, the three friends that are rushing towards you uh, can see that you're doing this. How do they react to that? We catch up to Sloane, and then and then we're still holding Spencer and running in place <laughs> like cartoon characters. <laughs> <laughs> like Sloane, what are you doing? I, I I just I have this feeling I need to go see who these people are. It's too dangerous. Everyone who's gone close there has gotten thrown out, and some of them have been caught by me. And that was really, really awesome and, and brave of you. And But I'm not like Spencer. I don't have shin splints and <laughs> I don't have a past. And I, I need to go, I need to go see. I, I just need to act on this feeling and see who they are. All Virgil, right. you'll always protect me, right? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll stay here, but as long as this one stops struggling so much. <laughs> Sloan, I would uh, like to try to break free. Oh yeah, go for it. So that's going to <laughs> in be this, in this brief moment of that's going, that's yeah, as they're be distracted. Kick, yeah, that's yeah, going yeah, to yeah. be kick some ass, and I'm going to give you plus one on it. <laughs> that doesn't count. That was a mistake. <laughs> he rolled. Like, that was a mistake roll. roll. That was a mistake <laughs> roll. Okay, we'll okay. go ahead. Go Is ahead that uh, that's a plus tough? That's plus tough. <laughs> All yeah. right, two. <laughs> it was a three plus minus one. It's, ex it's exceptionally. How do you try to get out? I just try to wiggle real hard. You try as hard as you can, but they almost without any amount of effort just have a lock on your legs and arm. So just your middle is wiggling all over yes. the place. <laughs> so Dex turns to Sloan and he's like, are you sure? I'm sure. But just one last thing. Well. Don't hold him so hard. His shins are pretty brittle. Then My Dex, shins are fine. Dex, Let's go of Spencer's arms. That way the front so my head falls <laughs> and then lands. And then he hugs Sloan. Says, you have to be careful. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. He says, Sloan, you're sweating again. Yeah. Spencer, What's up with that? your body Why do you get is so sweaty every time you talk to him? The frail thing I've ever seen in my life. Spencer, whose head smacked against the floor, has a drip of blood coming out of his nose and goes, Sloan, you're sweating again. <laughs> You are bleeding again. Did, are, did, did you go see the doctor about your nosebleeds? No, did you go see him about your overactive sweat glands whenever you're talking to Dex? Gosh, shut up. I'm going to go What's talk to that? I'm going to go talk to these people and you know, maybe I'll die and then you will love that. Okay, right, goodbye. Right, don't Spencer, try I'm not let to sweat you, when you're I'm talking gonna, to him. I'm going to let you go, so. but no noises. No noises, you just stand up. <laughs> 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 okay, so I continue to approach these people. Okay. So Spencer gets back up on his feet, wipes the blood away from his nose. The three of you turn around to see who Sloane is walking towards, and you see on the sides are two people that you have never seen before in your entire life, uh, but standing in the middle uh, with longer hair is Sloane Baker. Oh my god, it's it's me. Does she have glasses and like the pigtails and stuff? Is she no, hot? she actually is she looks. Hot? She's uh, she's like she's she is hot, but she's got like major horse girl energy. Like her hair is like down to like her butt, um, and she's also wearing a very strange outfit, almost like it's uh, made out of some kind of spandex material. Looks like some kind of um, uniform that somebody has prepared for her. Uh, she also looks angry at you. Oh, oh my god, you're me? Sloane, it's you, but hot. <laughs> Shut up, Spencer. I, you are very, very hot, but you also give off this vibe like I just want to sit and do paint by numbers with you. Oh, you're talking to yourself. I was like, I don't think. <laughs> Spencer's very hot. Dex, no, Dex I got, no, I, I, nudges, I was Dex confused. Dex nudges I was confused. Spencer and Get goes, some wires crossed. <laughs> 
<laughs> Spencer I, takes one nudge yeah, damage. No one's no, talking no. to you. I, I could feel you back there. I'm, I'm Sloane, are you, you're me? This person who looks exactly like you looks you up and down uh, and then her eyes go black and you feel, Sloane, uh, the same feeling that you felt earlier, almost like a bad thought is trying to worm its way into your head, um, but that's it. it it's, a, it's a passing moment and you feel nothing. The Sloan in front of you turns her head slightly to Virgil and Dex, uh -oh. and you feel a stinging pain in your head, almost like the worst headache you've ever had in your entire life, just for a second. The events of the last two weeks uh, play for you in rapid succession. You see everything, but as you see it, it's almost like you experienced it, and that level of emotion all at once is very, very disorienting. Sloane in front of you, the, the Sloane that you see, is uh, her eyes return to normal, and she looks over to the girl on her right and nods her head, and they lift their hand and all of you go flying about 40 feet. Ah! Holy and God. you squeal. Uh, we yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I don't, uh, is everybody okay? Are we? Are we yeah. okay? I think Our I just shins. had one of those things that Spencer had. Last uh, nose bleed? three weeks, also my nose might be bleeding a little bit. We're all fine even though no one caught us this time, right? That, it turns out you didn't need to be caught, that that wasn't a heroic thing to do, right? We all feel fine? I could have used a catch. A catch would have benefited me, I think. Well, okay. I don't think that was the, the good Sloan. <sighs> the good Sloan? What does that mean? Well, you know how, like, I'm kind of like, you know, there are all these clones, I'm kind of like the lame Sloan, and then there's the bad Sloan, and I'm sure there's, like, the funny Sloan, and then that's probably the, the bad Sloan. Well, first of all, you're the good Sloan. Sloan. Thanks, um, Virgil. You're welcome. I'm That's not gonna nice. sleep with you, though. Ew. <laughs> just because you say that. I just want to put that out there, Is that though. On the like, table for... No, I'm just saying that, like, it's not how you, you know, compliments. I, we're friends. It is just like and you. I, I appreciate <laughs> that as friends. Oh, oh no, we're lost. <laughs> what are we gonna do? As you. Second of all, that's gross. <laughs> as you debate who and who won't Sloan fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You glance over at the three figures and uh, the leader, who appears to be a different Sloan, turns and starts walking away back into the fog. Uh, same the, age? Same age. Okay. The one that pushed you all back turns and follows, and the third one puts her hand across the floor and you see what looks like a wall of fire sprout up where wow. she left her touch and they turn and go back, and that uh, that way is now blocked by a wall of fire. Hey, Dex, you should go after him if you're nunchucks. Are you stupid? That would be ridiculous to no, go after No, if, if you run fast enough, you just jump through the fire, it's not gonna hurt you if you're running fast enough. It seems like every single time someone goes close to them, they get thrown 40 feet back, and sometimes they get caught Sometimes, safely. sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. He's, he's right. Give it a shot. Spence. I think we should just book it out of here. I think it's our only option. We, they've cut off our route to go. With uh, fire magic. It seems like maybe they're afraid of us, or maybe they're afraid of Spencer, which is why they they're turned and walked away. They're afraid of me. Okay, well. I agree. I, I mean, yeah, this this whole place is it's going under. We have to, we have to the four of you start running down the hallway uh, where the arrows are pointing, and as you pass by the giant office that you were in before, uh, you see that that thing growing in that black hole is growing and is now uh, fully standing, but doesn't appear to be aware of anything. You keep running uh, and follow the lights and uh, it takes you to the garage center where you parked your truck before. Can I take a photo of it as we run by? Yeah. Okay, do that. You are able to snap a picture. I'm put it on my net. I'm gonna do my net friends on that. Friends? Yeah, they're net friends. Okay? It's just as good as a friend in the real world. <laughs> so we're in the car. I'm just you gonna, are in the car. Yeah, I'm just gonna post this. Okay. Nine. Uh, <laughs> what is he rolling for? What are you rolling? Net friends. Okay. <laughs> Ten. 
Okay, what is that? Contact friends do? net friends. <laughs> what? I put the photo of the scary monster out on the internet. Uh huh. And to, his, to his net friends. To my net friends, friends, but also, you know. Um, TMZ? And I just what? want to say, does any, anyone know what's going on here? Eh? Are you asking them? Your I'm net friends? I'm asking my net friends. I'm just putting it out there on the internet you, to say, like, you know, this is, this is going on. You put it out if there. Knows anything, and you get someone from the government. You put it out there and you get a lot of uh, comments about how great uh, your drawing skills are. Uh, and wh okay. whatever Photoshop abilities you've had are, are really starting uh, to improve. Skeptic's gonna skeptic. I feel uh, like they're supposed to give me some special information on a 10 plus, but. But <laughs> <laughs> you also get one comment from the official uh, account for Staunch Diner, which just says, come here immediately. There oh. we see. You all laughed. Oh, good. <laughs> well, of course we laughed. You Treat these net friends of yours like they're your better friends, like they're better than us for some reason. Uh, no, I don't do that. Maybe we should keep this discussion going as we drive out of here. That's All a great right. idea. <laughs> well, I can't drive because I don't have my glasses, so. That has not stopped us. Any other you times. can do anything you set your mind to. Oh my god, okay. Except for this. Right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this you probably shouldn't do. So Dex will drive. I tell everyone about the staunch diner thing. So you all hop in the uh, same vehicle that you came in on and uh, start driving rapidly towards the exit. Um, as you start approaching the exit, you see uh, small fires have popped up and there are crashed vehicles and what appear to be maybe the bodies of people that were trying to escape. Uh, but eventually you see an opening in the cave, uh, and the outside, where you expected to maybe see light and uh, a way out, uh, there is still just that green fog. And as you exit the mountain, it almost looks like the entire world is filled with this uh, green mist. But there's also a little bit of light. Light not from the sun, but from a giant fire uh, that is behind uh, the lake. Like the opposite where we're exiting? Mm hmm As you exit through the cave, uh, the path that used to be uh, very clear isn't anymore. And not only is there a bunch of fog, but there seems to be buildings that weren't there before. Uh, uh, you swerve, and uh, I want you to do an act under pressure roll. Oh. Uh, seven. That is a seven. So you start swerving as these things pop up. It's almost as if they only come into your view when you're a couple feet away from them. And uh, you crash into a one of these buildings that pops up. But luckily, none of you are hurt. Oh. Because Dex was able to sort of turn the car in a way that uh, only the back of it took the brunt of the damage. Drifting. Yeah. Yeah, he pulled the Tokyo Drift okay. and it was sick as hell. What kind of building is it? Well, as you look at it, it appears to be a cabin. Uh, and over the cabin, there is a sign, a handmade wooden sign painted red uh, that says Camp Kikimam. Uh, That's something I'm unfamiliar with. Mm -hmm. Never heard I think of all it. of us are. Yeah. That wasn't always there, was it? Definitely not. There's never been a camp over here. So are these buildings like breaking through the ground kind of, it's like a like they've been thrust up from under under the earth or they're like just popping in like they're from another dimension almost so like the second one it seems it okay. seems like they uh have just been here they're just like boop, beep, beep. Just they they in. just are there. okay yeah. got it as you exit the vehicle uh and look at the building you start to see figures who are coming out from uh, the lake. Uh, you see that they all have these uh, burlap sacks over their head. Uh, they're carrying various different types of weapons. Uh, one has a bow and arrow, one has a hunting rifle, uh, one of them has a machete, and the last one uh, exiting the lake uh, has no burlap sack. And they also are missing the better part of one of their arms, uh, wearing a, uh, a Hawaiian shirt 
short shorts and very gray hair. They drip with both blood and water as they get out and look at you and say, uh, Nobody kills Casper Hogwood. And Virgil, you look up at the man who you recognize to be your grandfather. What the hell? That can't be. Grandpa Casper. And that is where we will pick up uh, with the next episode of Must Be Dice, Paradise Path. <laughs> They're doing a non-audible visual gag again. Oh, shock, oh. do the shock face. <laughs> I think the best part of this is that he's doing Nick Cage. No. Oh. It's YouTube. Oh. YouTube. You know what it makes me think of that Bugs Bunny meme where he's like, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Mm -hmm. We'll see you next week, everybody. Unless you already took the mic off. Yeah. I know, I saw that. <laughs>